All right, so I am I'm tweaking up my profile here for Nimbatus. I did a little video on it, but anyways, this is um not so much a tutorial, just sort of a something you can you can forget about, kind of like a best practices type thing. So clearly, you can see over here, there's a lot of stuff. So I knew I was going to use a radial menu, and then here we go. So the problem though, it's like okay, I select it. You can see the mouse kind of jitters is, you know, the cursor is jittering around. It's because I'm pushing, you know, as I click this right here, you can see the gyro, you know, it's, it's the controller fluctuates. It's just what happens. And for a game like this, I really want my specific, I don't want my cursor jittering around. Now this was actually something I came across fiddling more in uh, Star Citizen because I put together a menu, a radial menu for like camera functions. And I noticed as I would click and manipulate that the cursor would jitter around and that it kind of drove me crazy. And there's actually a really easy fix for this. This works best if you're going with a separate layer. Otherwise you would need to do a mode shift on the gyro. But so for this, you, it's easier. You can see we all we go into is uh, make the gyro behavior off whenever I'm touching the right pad. Okay, so now this is the default where I have thumb on the right pad, thumb on right pad to activate gyro. Now, you can see I'm moving... I do not have my gyro. That comes back once I let go. So I can still move around, and then I hold the pad, and then I can recenter the controller. So in practice, like we go here, got my gyro, whatever, okay, I got my gyro on with, this is the uh, left grip is my hold this action layer button, and then it turns off, so I can more easily, like, oh, wait, Let's go over here, copy, paste, let go so I can click it, paste, let go so I can move it around. Just it gives you more, more fine control over these options. Now I would point out, like in in something like Arma or you know any sort of like. Uh, first person shooter game or action game where I'm using a radial menu to switch uh, like weapons or items I tend that for that I would tend to leave that gyro on because I still want the camera control I want to be able to look around and move while I'm accessing this it's not so much a problem but this is a real handy little thing whenever you have a radial menu for like something like this or inside of an inventory like Daisy or Escape from Tarkov, you know, like something like that where you need to be clicking around on very specific spots and then you want to be able to do something so it doesn't jitter out of whatever you're selecting. And yeah, it's, it's very, very simple. Just change the button behavior to off and that is something it's something that i know i've mentioned in a couple of videos but it can get buried you know in like some profile overview i never made just a specific video to point that out that that makes it you know it feels really nice and i still get the gyro it's just whenever i need to select something the mouse stops moving around now the only limitation with this particular thing is uh, I have to let go of that the right pad if I need if I need to adjust. So it just takes like a little bit to get used to you know if you're kind of conditioned to always having that gyro on with the touchpad and then all of a sudden it turns off. Well, just let go. I'm still in this layer where the radial menu's on. And yeah, that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Quick little tip 
observation, just something that I've started to add into some of my profiles. It makes, it, for something like this, it works really well. So I can get in here and more intricately control what's happening. So yeah, that's that's all. I gotta get back to finishing up this profile so I can upload it. Pretty cool little game. So that's it. Bye bye.